Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my science project. It is a plant leaf cell. Okay, so um, a, pl a plant leaf cell has many organelles, and the first organelle, and which is which is on the outside, is called the cell wall. It's rigid, and it gives the cell its rigid and fixed shape. That's one thing different about an animal cell and a plant cell. An animal cell doesn't have a cell wall, that's why it doesn't have a fixed shape. And next to the cell wall is a cell membrane. The cell membrane is not as thick as a cell wall. It is inside and around the um, cell and it controls what comes in and out of the cell. Next is the vacuole. The vacuole is inside the cell and it's basically a fluid filled sac and it's a storage area for cells. And these orange candies are used, they're called mitochondria and they're the powerhouse of the cell and it's being shaped with the inner membrane. And what it does is it breaks down sugar molecules and makes turns them into energy. And this is an endoplasmic reticulum. And there are two types, there's a hard one and a soft one. It's inside the cell, cell and it's a network of folded tubes and membranes. And it carries proteins from one material, from one part of the cell to another. And this and all the organelles, this is a cytoplasm. All the organelles float in the cytoplasm. And it's a clear gel-like fluid. And it's a home to all the cell organelles. And this is the nucleus. The nucleus is basically the head of everything. It tells all the organelles what to do. And inside the nucleus is the nucleolus. And inside the nucleolus is DNA. There's also white little X's. They look like white little X's and they're called chromosomes. They're made of DNA and they come in forms of a double helix. And DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And these rubber bands I use, they're the Golgi bodies. They're flattened sacs or tubes and it receives proteins and minerals and repackages them and redistributes them. And these, these are lentils and I use them as ribosomes. The ribosomes, they're inside the cell and they're small, they're basically small bodies floating in the cell and they could be, or they could be attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. And what it does, it, produ it produces proteins and this pink little circle right there, that is the lysosome. It is known as the stomach of the cell and it contains digestive enzymes. They help digestion and waste removal. These are called um, chloroplasts. And inside the chloroplasts, these, these little candies I use, they're called chlorophyll. That gives the plant its green color. And that is it. Bye guys, thanks for watching.